Hello everyone, welcome to the Feathers Creations on YouTube. This is a YouTube channel where I teach how to draft, I teach how to cut, I teach how to sew, and um, we'll talk about everything. Generally, we'll talk about things that um, relate to sewing. Uh, please, if you are new here, if this is the first time, your first time of um, uh, coming across my channel, I would uh, please beg you to subscribe and click on the notification bell so that you can get uh, notified whenever I upload a new video. I I make it a point of duty to upload meaningful and impactful videos which you would benefit from. And to my subscribers, I say thank you for the love, the show of love, the trust, the belief. I thank you all. And uh, please like my video, share my video, comments, ask questions. I would always be available to respond to your comments. Well, today's uh, video is going to be about how to draft a mid shoulder line bustier yes this mid shoulder line bustier is different from the armhole princess um seams different from the armhole princess that in this case the line runs from the mid shoulder see i hope you can see clearly the arm the line runs from runs right through the middle of the shoulder and it connects to the bust point uh, from the bust point it moves connects with the waist dart and from there moves down to the full length of the blouse but today's tutorial is not going to be on a full length bl um, blouse it's going to be on a half length bodies that's from your shoulder to the waist length bodies and it's going to be a bustier as well so look at it this is the way this is what it's going to look like. See? Look at it. Look at the cup. Look at the lines. Uh -huh. A lot of work has gone into this anyway. You know, the, the, the Ankara cannot be this thick. But I've used um, wording and, you know, este. A lot has gone into the outfit to make it have this firm look. So, like I said, we are going to draft a mid shoulder line bustier a mid shoulder line bustier a half block so let's get started to the beginners in the house you need an in-depth knowledge of how to draft a basic body block a half scale that's from your shoulder to your waist the knowledge of how to draft a basic body's block would help you with the modifications we are talking about here. Because we are, uh, it's a bust here, and there will definitely be modifications at the waist um, region. I will modify the darts. It's not going to be the 0.5 um, on both sides. No, it's not going to be 0.5. Now, another thing I want to say here is that when you are making bust tiers, add more, provide more fabric. Or, in this case, if you are using a pattern paper, fold more pattern paper because you would need more than the usual dart intake before it used to be one for the regular one. But some people go as far as using two, two and a half, you know, it depends. So, if you want to make a bust here, add more to your fabric. And you can calculate that based on your intention, your, your dart intake, your plan on what... Um, the, the that you want to you want to use that was that's what would determine the addition to the fabric you are going to need as well so i have drafted my own basic block the half scale as you can see this is the center front the round armhole the um chest line the bust line the under bust line and the waist line so the Measurements required are that of the shoulder, which is 15. I added half an inch to it for seam to join the sleeves to the body. Now, the bust line, the bust point, the under bust, the waist, the half length for the 
front, the waist circumference, that's the um, all-round measurement of the waist, the bust circumference, which is also the all-round measurement of the bust. Now look at this paper. It's folded in two. I folded it in two. And this is going to cover for the front, center front. This is folded into two. This is for the front alone. Now, the back could be um, a simple basic block that's with the waist that you might decide not to use your mid shoulder line for it it's up to you but in this case i'm going to use the mid shoulder line for the front and i'm not even going to draft the back at all because i want to concentrate on the front part of it since you can use something else for your back you can use the waist that for the back so let's get into the business of the day now this is eight inches. I folded this into two. The shoulder measurement is 15. I folded it into two and that should be seven and a half. I added half an inch to attach the sleeves to the body. Now, the three is the standard neckline measurement. Let me note this. Let's note this. This is three. We now have five. We are going to assume we are going to pretend as if this half an inch isn't there because it's actually meant for the sleeves and we are going to have a wrong result if we add it to our mid shoulder line um, calculation so we have four and a half here if you fold your tape measure into two based on that four and a half you have two and quarter is that two and quarter that we are going to reckon with now i'll go ahead to mark two and quarter that's just it there's a point there already. Now, the nipple to nipple, that's the bust pan here, is three and um, seven and a half. Seven and a half divided in by two would give us three three quarters. Do the same at the under bust area. Come to the waist area, do the same. Now, connect the dots. It's actually very simple. So. But once you know how to draft a basic bodice block, this is just going to be like um, one, two, three. Yes, that's just the truth of the matter. Now, it's a bustier, like I said. Let's use half here inwards, coming by half. Come to the waistline, coming by half as well. Now, come outwards here by one and a half. The bust I'm considering is 36, so one and a half is okay. Now, I'll come down here by one and quarter. Now I want to connect this dots. Oh, to uh, this dots. We must ensure that it's not pointed. Cover everything nicely. Of it nicely. Come here. Do the same. It shouldn't have a sharp look there. So now to the most important part of our draft. This is the mid shoulder line. We are going to connect it to this point. I hope you get what I'm saying. This is where it derives its name. We are connecting to this point. But for ease in the bust area, just like I came down here by one and quarter for ease, you also go upwards. Half an inch is okay for that bust size. And connect together. Don't forget what I said. Pretend as if there is no 0.5 seam allowance there. That is if you are going to attach sleeves to it. Can you see? So, this is it. Come here, smoothen it together. There should be no uh, sharp edge, edges. Smoothen it together. As you can see, it's formed already. Can you see? See the bust? See the cup? It's already formed without much ado. So, yes. Now, Another modification here is at this area. We want to um, give our bust line a fine shape. Yes. And by the time I go outwards here, by one and quarter, 
I'll connect it to this particular point and it will give your bust line another pointy look and a nice look you know and it would eliminate any extra fabric here so this is the modification i always do at the shoulder line area at the mid shoulder line so i'm coming here i've connected it to that half look at what we got can you see very nice look now i'm drafting on pattern paper and I'm not providing for seam allowance here. By the time you are drafting on your, you are about to cut your fabric, please provide half an inch for seam allowance here. Because we are going to eliminate all those. We are going to cut this out. Yes, the shaded parts. We are not going to need this further. We'll cut this out. So, I've eliminated that. By the, that means this would be separate and this would be separate. So you would have to attach them with 0.5 here, 0.5 there. So let's continue with what we are doing. You can see the shape is already formed, especially now that you can see the shaded part. So another thing here is you took one and quarter from here. It's going to reduce the shoulder measurement here if you don't return it back so i'm going to return it to where i took it from which is still the same shoulder line i'll come outwards by that one and quarter the exact one and quarter i took i've returned it to this portion now i won't stop at that area i'll come here as well this is one i'll come here to return that i'll return the one i took can you see three this is a three quarters this is three quarters here this is three quarters do the same here this is half do the same here just find a way make sure you return the the inches you borrowed return everything you took away so that there will be no shortage so find a way of making your work neat and ensure that the values are equal please to prevent any shortage make sure the values are equal so this is one can you see please make sure the values are equal so i'm going to form a new armhole based on the dots i joined that means we have provided for the short for we've returned what we took back now now all you need to do is to mark this downwards yeah that's all new armhole line don't cut it out here oh, i didn't say to cut it out though i'm only saying that we moved outwards to return what we borrowed now Let's impute our measurements. At the waistline, the waist circumference is 30. I folded this paper in two for the front panel. 30 divided by two, that's for the back and front, would be 15 for each panel, part rather. The back part would take 15 and the front would take 15 as well. So the 15 will now be divided in two equal parts. And that will be seven and a half. And it's simply because I folded this paper into two. Please don't forget that. Now I took two here for the dots. Two, 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 two. Well, the marker made it two and a half, two and quarter. So I'm going to return two and quarter here. Two and quarter. Now I'll add one and a half for seam allowance. I'll come to the bust line, the actual bust, to the chest line rather, the actual bust measurement is 36. But because of ease of movement to move the sleeves, since I'm going to attach sleeves to it, I'll add for up half of an inch, that's 0.5 to it, for ease of movement. Now I'll add the one and a half seam allowance as well. You can see the shape is, it looks 
And you see, there's nothing wrong with it. Though. It's just because of the dart intake. That's why it looks irregular. It's not uh, the usual shape, no. This person has a fantastic shape, but 36 with 30. But because of the dart intake, that's why we have this uh, line looking this way. But there's nothing wrong with this. Now, you can see I did nothing at the neckline. It's simply because the neckline area is up to you. This is the standard three. You could decide to come to go or uh, to use as much as four and a half. It depends on you. The width depends on you. But now let me let me use three just to make sure there's a neckline there. Let's use three. Wow. So let's assume this is our neckline. Now to prevent any shortfall here. To prevent any shortfall here, go upwards by half an inch. Because by the time you connect both um, center panel and side panels together, there would be a short fork here. So just connect it, go up by half an inch and connect to this edge. So that's all. Now, for accuracy, there's a way you can check whether you got your measurements right. For accuracy, just do this. This is um, five and quarter. Five and quarter come to this place start from here two three quarters i hope you understand plus two three quarters five plus two is seven quarter plus three quarter is eight what it means is that you've got your accurate shoulder line plus the 0.5 seam correct that's just the easiest way for you to know whether you got it right or wrong. So as you can see, with this very easy calculation, you can uh, uh, you can easily detect any error you make when drafting your patterns. So this is correct, very very correct. So, like I said, you could you can decide to use them um, the waist darts for the back part. There's no problem. This is the bustier effect we want, and we have created it. Now. I want to cut this out. I want to cut this out so that you can see what it's going to look like. And don't forget that your fabric scissors should not be the same with the one you use for cutting paper. If not, you buy you end up buying scissors all the time. Because when you cut with um, you cut paper with your pair of scissors. It becomes blunt so you should have another pair of scissors for cutting paper and another for cutting fabric so i hope you have found uh, this tutorial meaningful if you have please give it a thumbs up share my videos comment on my videos like just ask questions I'll be available in the comment section to reply and don't forget to subscribe if you have not because I promise to upload videos that will um, impart meaningful fully so see I'm cutting so. don't forget to add your seam allowance at the shoulders and the waist don't forget this portion as well i added seam allowance to the side so there's no need for that and please your edges shouldn't be sharp as much as possible try to make them um curvy they should look curvy they shouldn't come out sharp because whatever you cut out is what's going to come out on your outfit and your outfit is not going to look nice if it has sharp edges so once again, please subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell. This is what it looks like. This is what it looks like. That's the side. And this is what the center front looks like. I've not cut the dots, but this is just what they both look like. Can you see?
so this is the simply the simplified version of how to draft a mid shoulder line bustier a half scale bustier so can you see no sharp edges please no sharp edges please if you have found my video meaningful do not forget to subscribe bye